This has got to be the worst bootleg I've ever reviewed on the channel. I've got scammed. In today's video, we are going to be doing a review of the Revel Tech 2.0 bootleg figure that you guys asked for. And then also, we are going to talk about the downside of buying bootlegs and what can happen to you and how you can kind of get scammed from buying from these shady places. This has been the most requested video that I've had in a long time. And guys, keep them coming. When you guys really do want something reviewed, I only get it if enough of you guys ask. So feel free to just, oh. Now, first off, yeah, it, it sounded really bad. You don't get a figure from AliExpress or any of the bootleg websites unless it's sat on. Like you just don't, it, it doesn't happen. So if you're worried about, oh no. Whew, okay. Sorry, I just thought it came broken out of the box. But for people who are new to, to bootlegs, when you buy these, you could get a box free and save a dollar. For the sake of the review, for for you guys, I spent an extra dollar on the box. So, or else they just ship it like this. So I would like all the adulation and the, for that dollar, please. Leave a nice positive comment, say, Rocco, you're the best. Thank you for spending that dollar. Oh my God, how do you do it? And then also smash that like button. It's the least you could do, guys. Come on, it's a dollar. I don't know if my sarcasm ever comes off on video. People think I'm very serious all the time. And that I am the most... I am almost always joking. So if anyone's ever worried or, or if you don't get me, uh, please understand that everything's a joke. It's YouTube, baby. I'm here. I'm having the most fun ever. I get to open toys. I get to review action figures for a living. This is... Oh, I'm living my dreams, guys. I'm living the best life. I love you all. Anyone who watches me, good and bad, just know life is good. I'm very happy, very blessed. So, speaking of blessed, uh, this is a cancer-ridden <laughs> figure. Uh, guys, anytime you're buying a bootleg, please wash your hands afterwards. Wash the figure if you must. I know a lot of the young kids out there are like... You know, I'm just a young kid. I can't afford to buy, what is this figure originally, like five, like four, five hundred dollars now or something ridiculous. These, these Mayfex and Revel Techs, they go up in price and it's like, this is action figure collecting. It's unattainable. Like, how do we get there? How does it get like this? Just be careful because a lot of the companies use really cheap garbage paint and, and plastics. And I'm probably getting some sort of disease just for touching this. So again, smash that like button, guys, for my sacrifice. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Now, okay, I saw a lot of people saying that this figure, the bootlegs were really good. And I am... I'm tr I'm really like I want to be as positive as po as possible right now. But what the f is that? What the f are those? I feel like Max Mofo right now because what is this figure, guys? Now listen, I thought the Mayf I thought these Revel Techs always looked a little weird anyway. But ooh, his ah oh, man, his it's this is s stuck up here, the upper torso. And, oh, here, there goes his eyes. There goes his eye sockets. Uh, my dude's got the, you know what it is? My dude's got the James Ellsworth from WWE chin. Meaning non-existent. Oh, and his eyes keep popping out. This is like crackhead Peter Parker. Honestly, oh my god. This, this, this is really, okay, I'm going to try to be objective. I always am. Uh, let's, let's give it a review. So first off, uh, oh man, I feel like I'm getting sick right now. Just touching this. It has like this, it has this like film on it. Oh guys, I'm going to throw up. It's really, this is, this is disturbing. Let me try to loosen that top. Hold on a second. All right. So I just heated him up a little bit to try to get this top torso. I don't want to break it. So the bottom torso seems like it's good. Uh, but this top torso, okay, come on, come on, come on. Uh, oh, oh, no. No, it's broken. It's broken. Yep, yep, okay. This thing is, oh, man. So, yeah, look, yep. No, that was never going to work. Anyway, that's soft plastic. Oh, boy, this wasn't cheap either. This this was, oh, my God, that eyebrow. Key. Okay, so let's let's do the review. Let's do the review like this. So we have 
the double jointed, or it's really not double jointed because it's just one joint, but you could get a lot of range of motion on this. His uh, arms move back and forth. His uh, crackhead no chin is looking good. Um, he does have that neck piece cut out, so you could put his neck all the way back. He could look up. It helps when you have no chin. Now for the lower half of his body, we have the uh, <laughs> ab crunch. Goes really nice. You got the legs go all the way up with, again, a single, not even a joint. This is how McFarlane toys used to have articulation. It's just one cut in the uh, whatever it's called. And then we have these tiny little feet. Um, nothing matches. The paints don't match. Very good. And, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, don't touch your face, Rocco. Let's see. Okay, let's see what you could expect from the accessories. Let's pour this cancer out on my table. Oh, yeah, he comes with... <laughs> oh, man, come on. This is horrible. He comes with the... Uh, oh, my goodness. These eyes. He comes with these eyes, and they're all off-painted. They're not... They're supposed to be painted in different ways to make his face look like he's looking at things. Oh, man. Horrible. He has these... Oh, no. His hand looks like it got stuck in a refrigerator. This thing looks like it got crushed in a refrigerator. Oh, man. These hands are so bad. They just have globs of paint on them. They got mold flash lines everywhere. Look at this hand. Ah! It's like a Home Alone hand. Oh my goodness. Looks like it got hit with a mallet. He comes with all these. This is hard plastic. Okay. These are nice. Comes with some uh, green because this is the cancer he has. He has cancer from being so poisoned. So he has his green webs coming out of him. Radioactive green webs. And he also comes with this crappy stand that already fell apart inside the bag. I'm going to have to wash this whole table. Let's put the figure together. Hold on, I'm going to put the figure together and we're going to do some height comparisons. All right, let's do some comparisons with Cancer Spider-Man. We have the bootleg Mafex right there. Still one of the best figures I own. I own the real Mafex and it's identical. So if you get a chance to get that, go check out my review. Um, here is the amazing Spider-Man Marvel Legends. Probably one of my favorite Spider-Man figures. And then before this guy fell apart... I was going to try, because he has the uh, web lines, I was going to take this Marvel Select head off and try to put it on this body and get like a cool Spider-Man. I thought it, I, I probably would have looked very good, but damn, man, damn. I was, I was looking forward to this review and it, this is really just the worst, the worst, 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 worst figure I've ever reviewed. It's it's so low quality on every aspect, especially now when third-party companies are actually really good. We have, you know, Demonical Fit. We have CT Toys is killing it. Black Hole Toys. We have so many really good bootleg companies right now just killing it, saving us money. And then you have this. I want to clean this table and throw this out as fast as possible. This thing is a literal piece of poop in the garbage pail it does it doesn't even belong in my garbage pail but you know what he does look like he has like pretty decent articulation i might maybe i have to spend the money and buy an official one and do a review let me know what what do you guys think about that one would you like an official review or you're like i'm not even gonna i can't afford the official one i don't even want to buy it i don't want to watch it i don't want to buy it you guys i know like the bootleg so if there's any other bootleg, please let me know in the comment section below and I will go check that one out. But I'm, listen, you guys say I'm uh, I'm a hater, I'm too critical. What do you guys call this? This is, even if it didn't break, this thing would have been still garbage. Okay, so here's a little update. Currently, they sent me a label to return the item. First of all, it was a $15 garbage bootleg broken item and now what these companies will do sometimes is they'll have you ship your item back to China and then you have to pay the shipping you have to pay the all the fees and everything 
And a lot of times they give you the wrong address or the shipping addresses in China are so convoluted that you'll never figure that, like, fill them out correctly. And most of the times it just, your stuff never gets there. It costs more than your item is to ship back and you just give up. That's what a lot of times. Now, AliExpress got a little bit better. They sent me a label to ship the item back. Um, they should have just, you know, said, throw it out. Here's your 15 bucks back. But they were, they're making me jump through hoops. I shipped it back right away. And they're, they continue to email me saying you have to ship it back soon or you're going to, you know, it's not going to, it's going to close out and all this stuff. So as of right now, it looks like I'm going to be getting scammed. And that, that's just what the reality is when buying from these bootleg websites. So that's why a lot of people ask me, where do you get your, where do you get these figures? Where do you get these figures? And I'm, I don't like to tell you guys go to AliExpress because it is shady. And you know, you might get five, 10 orders that are good and then you'll get two that are horrible. So uh, I've gotten scammed many times in the past. I've been on AliExpress for like a decade now. It did get much better. What I might just do is reach out to PayPal and just bother them and have them re reimburse it. I shipped out right away. They're still saying I never shipped. The tracking never updated. I don't know what kind of label they gave me. And so it's just a headache. Be careful when you're buying bootlegs. Sometimes it's worth it just to buy an official and buy an original from a website that will have your back. I do a lot of reviews with the bootlegs because you guys ask for them. I like doing it. But I also want to show the downside of doing it and how it's a little dangerous and you will get, you know, 15 bucks from me. I'll eat it. Hopefully the video will make that back in revenue. So smash that like button, guys, and, you know, leave comments. Comments really help. What are you going to do? I do this for you guys. So smash that like button for my loss. And uh, if, if, if it does update, I will update you guys in a future video. But as of right now, it looks like I'm... Um, um, I've got scammed. I need everybody, go check out my Macari shop. I sell stuff on eBay, on Macari. And if you're a watcher of the channel, always DM me. I give you guys the best, don't even look at the prices on there. You let me know, I'll give you the best deal I can. If you wanna get $50 in free credit for both of us, we both get it, use my code. Uh, down below is the link. Go over there. You guys signing up is how I buy a lot of these figures. Use my code. We both get up to $50 in credit. And then I go and buy like this, this figure. I bought this guy on there. I bought this guy on there. I bought this guy. You guys get the, you guys get it. So you guys help support the channel. You don't have to do anything other than sign up. And uh, we both get some stuff on there. So it's great. My Macari link is down below. It's better than eBay. You get a lot of good deals on there. The toy community is thriving. So go check it out. And please, if you're going to sign up, use my link. Or else we both don't get credit. And you're it just stinks. That's, that's stinky. I don't even want to touch my camera. There's literal filth. This is so bad. Cancer. So bad. I, I'm... I'm going to put a hazmat suit on and I want to throw all this out. This is all going right in the trash. I'm washing my desk. I'm washing my hands. I'm going to like scrub my hands, put some olive oil on it, get like some deep cleaning, put some vinegar. Oh, if I had a whole review, I had a whole damn review ready for you guys. I had all the figures. We were going to compare them. We were going to make a really, I was going to put different heads on the figure. This thing doesn't even, I, I couldn't do anything with this. This was, I, what a letdown guys. I'm sorry. If I let you down in this video, I feel let down as well. What a big piece of garbage going right in the trash. I'm out of here, man.